Right, let's make a tool rod and make this arrowhead for now. Not arrowhead, what am I making arrowhead? Um, oh, did I get in there? Ooh, stone pebbles. How did they get in there? I must have sorted them in there thinking they were... Oh, I've got a lot of stone pebbles, actually. Handy. I must have put them in there thinking they were, like, um, food parts. Not food parts, like, but, like, farm parts or whatever I'm calling it in there. Right. Axe. Making an axe. Making a hatchet, even. Right, so, hatchet. I need a tool rod. What's of these is a tool rod? That looks like a tool rod, isn't it? Um, let's see. Tough tool rod. Regular tool rod. Fuck it, let's make a tough tool rod. That takes three materials, while well, this takes one materials. Oh, uh, fuck it, let's make a tough one. Why not? And then we put that into here. And then... Right, what do we need? Oh shit, I need flint or something with this, don't I? Because uh, I'm trying to make entirely flint tools. So... Here we go. Right, so... Cobblestone. Need to all be hammered down. This is just a right mess right now, isn't it? And then we get the hammer. And hammer this away. Get some gravel. And then we sift the gravel. Let's regenerate these cobble things. Not cobble things, dirt things, while I remember. Dirt seems to be kind of the basis of a lot of stuff here. Which makes sense, you know. Obviously, tree. Uh, essentially, when this, what this comes down to, the whole like dirt chunk, uh, cobblestone chunk, all that, is basically everything comes on trees eventually, just through a fair process. But this process, importantly, can be mechanized. I've got the flint I need, which is nice. I'll just continue sifting this because, you know, metals are nice too. Can I eat saplings? No, I guess I can't. <laughs> you never know, desperate times. Right. Ooh, let's slice some more metal in the metal chest. Metal chest is looking nice now. I um, have to properly start delving into that soon. That's still got a shears pattern on it. Oh, that's nice. I can just pull shears out of that as and when I need them. I mean, that really would have made more sense to do that from the start. Birch seeds, cassia seeds. Oh, that's more metal. It goes in the metals chest. Right, let's make a tool rod out of flint. And then, bam. Uh, did I make a chest ever for usage over here? I don't think I did. I need to do that. Um, that's not what I wanted. Neither is this. This is what I wanted. Let's make a chest for my tinkery. Okay, and now in the middle, in the tool station, we make a hatchet. Nope, that's a matic. Hatchet from a flint tool. Wait, what? Oh, there's a tough. It has to be just a regular one. It can't be a tough tool. Fuck! That's annoying. Right, okay. From the top, then, I need a regular tool rod, apparently. I'm too good for this world. Um, what am I going to do with that? I need to pull these stencils in here. Because um, they're annoying me otherwise. Let's put a tool rod up there. Let's put that up there and get this out. And then put these away. Flint thing. And the old tough tool rod can go in there. Right. Hatchet. Tool rod. Axe head. Binding. I get to name the fucker. Hatchet of... Destiny. <laughs> Why not? The Hatchet of Destiny. That was scary. That sounded like someone laughing at first. Crude 3. So it's equivalent of an iron thing. Hey! That was a lot of effort to make a flint tool. But but we did it. We definitely did it. So I can cross that off the list and make Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. I guess that could be useful later in the game. For now, that just felt like a lot of effort for essentially something I could have just made out of wood and stone. And it depends. This might be significantly better with, than the wood or to stone tools. Time will tell. For now, I need to grow some more trees, and I'm going to crook them to try and get stuff off them. Can I eat silkworms, I wonder? That's very desperate, but it's possible, I suppose. Silkworm. No, I can't. Oh well. Oh, of course, I've got the bacon and the donut that came in here. Well, that'll keep me going for now. Right. So, what's next? Make clay by putting dust into a water-filled barrel. Cool. So... That means I need dust. Dust is a hell of a process. Um, because that's the full... Gotta got do the full switcheroo there. Right, let's... Ah, no, to put the saplings in there. I mean, actually, I've got a lot of saplings to spare, to be honest. Um... Nah. Um... Let me out of... I've got 13 here. Dude, I need just more stuff from shears and things. Um... I'm gonna have to make more shears. Okay, what are these? Are these dark oak saplings? 
Uh, let's make a jungle tree, because jungle trees can be absolutely colossal if done rightly. Done right, even. Not done rightly. Uh, okay. Jungle seed, jungle seed, jungle seed, jungle seed. Twerk em. Ho ho! <laughs> That's ludicrous. Right, if I leave that there, the vine should come down there and allow me to climb up to the top of it. Um without having to do anything, so I'll leave that there. Well, that's, <laughs> I'm going to work on these things. You know, see, that's the nice thing. Without sieving, I wouldn't have got that, and that is a much faster way of producing wood and leaves and such, so. Yeah, at least, see, that's the thing. you just got to kind of make wooden shears as and when you need them, rather than, like, constantly holding on to them. Because that's giving me a lot of that. Right, let's test out this hatchet of destiny. That was alright. I think that was a bit underwhelming, if I'm honest. <laughs> But hey, I mean, I mean, at least we did it. Um, not sure how ra rapidly I'll be returning to the Tinker's Construct tools, unless it's a process that's going to be like automated. But even so, what's the point of automated tool production? It just seems a bit pointless. But hey, I mean, we'll 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 come back to it. Um, maybe later in the game, or maybe people can tell me in the comments. Do tell me in the comments just what you think of the series as well, generally, if it's an interesting departure to the previous stuff, or it's a weird departure from my previous stuff. I'm curious to hear one way or the other. Um, right, so. What did I need to do? I needed to sift some dirt. And get some cobblestone and such out. There we go. Hopefully I'll get some cobblestone piece. I think you always got cobblestone four, like four co a cobblestone piece from dirt, I think, is a certainty, which is nice. Or is it a dirtenty? That, was, that doesn't even make sense. I need to look at the difference that a, having a flint mesh would make there, because um, I can make a flint mesh. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'll check that in a second, actually. I'll have just run this round of dirt. Right, dirt uses in sieving. Okay, so with a flint mesh. Ooh, what do you get here? Oh, you get different pebbles of different types of stone. Canola seeds, flax seeds, coffee seeds, rice seeds, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, beetroot seeds. Different types of seeds, I guess. That didn't seem particularly exciting at this point. Drying basin. Put in a drying basin to make coarse stuff. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this mod. <laughs> I'm just scratching the surface. That's what I need to do. I need to make a barrel. Uh, not a barrel, I need to make clay. So we'll start with stone. And stone. And I'm already getting through this cobblestone hammer as well. Oh, you know, I might get to use this cobblestone. I don't think that's necessary. Someone's using an incredibly loud engine outside. It's not going to get there any faster. That she probably will, but that sounds, that sounds like quite a beast. Anyway, right, so let's break this into gravel. And then we can put the gravel in as well. Right, I'm going to break this not vein mining because it looks like my hammer's about to run out. And I don't want to make a twat of myself again like last time. Oh, I could remake it as like some kind of... Hey, there we go. Some kind of weird new hammer. Um... Oh, I need to sort some of these into the food chest as well. I like the biologicals chest. I can get some melons and pumpkins growing and stuff like that, then I'll be fine. Oops. Right, um, let's take my hammerhead pattern out. And then... Can I make just like a wooden hammerhead out of that? Yep. Um... So you to the stone hammer. Fuck it, we'll make it, see what happens. Um... Right, what else do I need to make a hammer? Hammer doesn't seem to be on the tool station option, that was the issue. Um... I've got this. Ugh, I don't know. I fucking don't know anything about this, do I? Right. Um, revolver hammer. Steel ingots. I don't know, that all seems very complicated. So there's a lot of different hammer heads. But I don't seem to have the option on the tool station to make a hammer. Right, I'm going to mine this jungle fruit tree first things first, because I'm running low on like compostable stuff, so I'm going to grab as many shears as I can, and I'm going to head to the top of it on a pillar made of wood. Um, ah, what? There we go. Um, which means I can then mine myself and mine my way down nice and easily. 
This is actually quite scary. Oh my goodness, it's very high. <laughs> let's connect that up just so that's connected for ease of breakage later. Right, let's get my shears out. Get to work. That was slightly quicker than my vein mining, actually, I think. Um, yeah, because the issue with vein mining is if, yeah, it is using up the tool quite a lot. Um, here, it's just, it is slower, but. I mean, it's not that slow, to be honest. Um, it's slower, but not slow. I need the standards. Right, now I need to get over to here. The only thing about it is the fact they drop it all at my location, but they don't do that with the shears, necessarily. Let's get all that out of the way. Bring all this back down. Right then. Let's try and be methodical about this to make sure we don't lose anything. We've got quite the load here, so. Oh. Right, I think I might start vein mining now. Where's the hatchet of destiny? And let's start hammering my way down. And I'll just gently work my way down. This is very methodical. I like this. It can stay. Right. The hatchet of destiny is almost certainly going to run out of beans by the time we get to the bottom. Glad I spent 20 minutes forging that, aren't I? Certainly. Ugh. I need to stop being so whiny. <laughs> right, if I stand on here and vein mine. There we go. Uh, right, there we have that. If I break that, is there anything underneath it? Mm, yep, right, I can vein mine. Ah! Oh! Fuck, ow. Well. <laughs> okay, so vein mining absolutely got the thing underneath me. But we've got a lot of gobs in that tree. Oh my god, I'm like dying. Jesus. Well. I got a lot of leaves, so I can I can at least restart this process a little bit. I need to eat relatively soon, but I'm going to get clay, which will, clay will let me make a bucket, bucket will let me move water, then I can start farming operations, which is nice. So, we need to make more cobblestone. Oh no, I needed a hammer. What did I need a hammer for? I needed a hammer. I've confused myself again. Right. It's got to be stone first, surely. Yeah, stone makes a hammer. A hammer is used to turn stuff into the dust, and the dust will be used to make clay. There we go. Right, got it. God, remembering what I'm doing and why is, is, is a constant struggle in this game. It's not a struggle, it's just a new, new experience, isn't it? Right, so that's more gums for that. I'm going to have to... I will at some point definitely look through everything that's actually actually in that chest. Well, I've got vines. That must have been with the shears. Um, but for now, it just needs to be kind of out of my way. Um... Oh, that was really weird. I saw the sky rotating behind the tree, but my brain read it as like the tree was rotating to the right. I got a really weird moment of... Vertigo is not quite the right word, but certainly was interesting. Um, let's set that up. And we build a hammer out of stone. And then we can now get back to hammering things, which is where I want to be. That's cobblestone. Actually, no, well, I need to break cobblestone anyway, so... Because then that gives me more gravel. And now I need to place the rest of this gravel. And I can break all the gravel. Whee! That was fun. And now we get sand. And finally, you know what? I'll use this sand, actually, to build up for now. Where's the hatchet of destiny? <gasps> the hatchet of destiny is broken! Oh! I see. So, things break with the Tinker's Construct, but you can replace them! That's very clever, isn't it? I need to make myself all the way back down. Uh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Because <laughs> I've not really- OH! Well, what I was about to say is I've not really got enough health to risk a death. But, see, look at that. Trap Priest Grave. If I destroy the grave, all my shit comes back out of it. So that's fine if you die under normal circumstances. If you die by falling off the world, things get a little more complicated. Um, so hopefully we're not going to come to that, really. I'm, like, I'm stinky for some reason. Is it because I've, like, just respawned or something? Um, well, anyway. Oh, there's a giant pillar there where I've died. There's a way of getting rid of that. Well, I have no idea to get rid of that giant glowing death marker. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Right, let's get the remainder of this sand, at least. That's all dust. And now, plonk! Hey! 
that's made us a clay. So, I can now use this clay to make a bucket. I'm also back to full hunger, which feels cheaty. If I... Oh, I just have to physically place and break the clay, don't I? And it breaks into clay pieces. Then these I can use to make a bucket. Clay bucket. There we go. So if I get on fire clay bucket, which is there, then I need to fire it. I think I can cross something here. Make clay. Yep. Craft and cook a cru craft and cook a crucible. Oh god, I can make lava and stuff. Well, I'm gonna make a farm briefly first. Um, is there anything on here about farms? Not really. Um, so I'll just have to do that now, I guess. Right. So things to need and do. Uh, right. I'm gonna use my hammer to bring down what's left of this tree, or at least what I can of this tree, into compostables. Woohoohoo! That made a lot of wood chippings. Whew, that was nice. I'm never going to be able to get up there again. <laughs> Not for a while, so I guess I'll just leave that there for now. <laughs> I'll work it out later. Just a floating canopy on the world. Well, I suppose I'll make another tree underneath it. Right, so. Got an on-fire clay bucket. So, I need to sift some dirt, first things first, because I need to make cobblestone enough to make a furnace, which I can fire the clay bucket in. Okay, good. I think you can make bowls, actually, as well, but... Um, right, did I get... Oh, I've got lots of stone pebbles, excellent. So let's make some cobblestone. Did I get... Is that enough to make a furnace? It is, excellent. Right, let's do just that. Let's make a furnace. Have that go, and then the furnace can go there, next to the big wooden barrel, there's nothing that can go wrong with that, of course. Um, I think I've got some wood chippings actually to put in there to... Oh, it has to be leaves, doesn't it? Um, yeah, because you can't... <laughs> wood chippings, not great for getting fluids out of a surprising turn of events. Right, um... Right, what do I want this cobblestone for? Hammer! I need to make a hammer. Right, um, okay. Let's make a hammer... Three hammers, because I'm getting through them, so why not? They can go in the shed. Um, oh, these trees are just growing naturally. I forget they can do that. Oh, that's me trapped in there. Right, so let's get started with the shears. And let's hammer that away. Let's hammer that one away. Bring some more shears down. Right, leaves need to go into here to make some more water and set that running. Then these remaining ones will go to make dirt. Soon enough we'll have access to a cobblestone generator, um, which just... Um, which will just constantly spit out cobblestone. You can make them using the kind of a default in-game way of doing that, basically having lava facing water. But actually that's pretty much how you make them in the game, it's just there is a block which is lava flowing into water, um, which does it for you. Which will be very nice when it's up and running, and that should be relatively soon. Right. I can now fire my clay bucket, can't I? Yeah. Don't know where I got a spark from, but we'll just ignore that for now, won't we? Thank you very much. And... That's a clay bucket. Excellent. You weren't so experienced by the sounds of it. Um, right. Let's do some more trees in the meantime. Ow, 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 ooh. Oh, that was interesting. I got trapped. Oh my god. Right. And more shears. Always need more shears, it seems. Soon I'll have like a pair of like iron diamond shears or something like that. Imagine how long they'll last. Probably, you know, not very long, um, based on how things are going at the moment. But I'm at least getting a decent supply of leaves again, um, which is a good position to be in. I've got my bucket. Oh, swash. Brilliant. And so that's making more um, stuff. Let's make sure these are nicely composting as well. And I'm going to start making a farm. That's nice. Um, because that means we can actually grow food. Which makes me feel a little more self-sufficient, which is very nice. So, the farm will actually have to be slightly raised up. Ideally, I mean, it would be lowered down because it needs to have water flowing in it, but that's not going to be an option um, because I can't raise stuff down. Let's make it over here. Uh, if we... It needs to be five wide, I think. Oh, here's a thing I can now show off um, that we have the option for. A uh, little thing called Builder's Wand, uh, which are added into the game, and I believe I have enough stuff to make them. Let's check. Wand. 
So we can make a stone wand. Nice and easy to do. Wands help you fill in patterns faster. So you see here, I've started making this. If I right click there, it'll just do that. And it's using that, so it's using enough wood for wood every time it kind of does that. And if I were to try and do it here, it's a bigger area. More powerful ones not only take longer before breaking, but also can lay down larger patterns. Um, so it's handy for doing like mass construction projects like this. And I'm going to try and remember to use them as much as possible. Because as you can see, see how much faster that is, it's wonderful. Um, right, so. Now we need to start layering up some dirt here, so I'm actually not going to sieve this dirt for now. Um, let's have it go down the middle. What's the most efficient way of doing this we want? So. I think for now it would be two rows of dirt. Oop. Hello. It'll be two rows of dirt, and then water flowing down the middle, I think. Um, let's make some more. Oh, jungle wood, apparently. Um, that's going to look really weird. Oh well, I'll use whatever wood's available to me. I suppose jungle wood for the farm. Um, that makes some sense, I guess. And then this will ring the whole thing in. Um, jungle wood. Then we'll have some water flowing down the middle, and then two bits of streaks of dirt down either side. Nice. Um, right. I think you actually need water source for. Ooh. Um, right, that's. I'm going to put some more fencing up around here, I think. Because um, I can see this being really dangerous really fast. Um, let's make a fence. Can I use ones on a fence? I wonder. Probably not. Fence. Um, sure. And then I need... Let's make some dark oak shit. That stuff looks well cool. Dark oak fence. Oh, I love that. Jungle wood and dark oak fence for the thing. I'm just really... Very non-standard with my patterning for this new farming area. Right, one more bucket should get that ready to roll. Then I'll need to make a hoe for tilling this ground, and we're all good. I'll start off with growing melons and pumpkins, I think. Well, I mean, I can grow all sorts. I can grow whatever the fuck I've got seeds for, which is <laughs> quite a lot, actually. I'll need to move the seed chest over here, because that makes far more sense. And this is just to stop me, again, jumping off when I have a tendency to run up here. And then there we go. Right, so. I should probably build some stairs up there as well. Oh, and if I just make some slabs, actually, that'll just allow me to glide up there smoothly. Um, that's not, well, I mean, that is what I need to do next, but. Nice bit of jungle slabbage along here. Slab, 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 slab. Oh, I oh, didn't want to do that. Um, There we go. Well, I got some wood chippings out of that. That's nice. Um, oh, no, I didn't. That's not very nice. Okay, that's, that's not quite ready yet. And once again, I'm out of leaves. I guess with just that many crucibles, you just get do get through them quite quickly. Um, let's do that. And let's hammer what remains of these things. I seem to have enough wood for, like, building and things, so I guess wood chippings is a more useful usage of trees right now. All right, is this ready for the... Slosh. Oh, it's just a little bit, a little bit more. Um, I guess. I got a lot of dust on me, is that? Oh yeah, I was making clay stuff. I'll hang on to that, and I guess it'll be useful to sieve a little later as well. Oh my god! Right. Ho! Oh, in the meantime, um, let's can I build. That's why I want to make some kind of weird tinker's hoe. It. How do I repair stuff actually? Because I can I put stuff in the tool station because I've still got the axe of hatchet of destiny. Um, do I just need like flint to repair it? Yeah, I can just bring it back to life with a bit of flint. Now you see that is handy actually. I will give them that. Um, the ability to just like rebuild stuff with the same material is useful. Matic. Um, that could be handy. Um, Matic's like a kind of, some kind of hoe thing, isn't it? Um, Yeah, I'll save my mattock, so what do I need? I need an axe head, I need a tool rod, I need a shovel head. Right, I've already got a tool rod, I've already got an axe head, so I'll do that. Make this thing out of whatever they've got around, that's two and that's one, so... Um, now I'm going to get another flint, fuck it. 
Well, okay, it's because Splint is the equivalent of iron, so yeah, make that. Um, then we're going to need like a shovel head, did it say, or something like that. Right, let's grab a blank pattern from there, which I don't have one. Blank pattern. And what was it? Shovel head I wanted. Yeah, shovel head. Um, cool. Let's put the shovel head in there. Look at me, I'm learning. <laughs> right. Um, that needs two, so we'll put two flint in there. And then I need a tool rod, which just needs one. We'll just make the rod out of wood for now. Tool rod, also known as a stick. Um, a wooden tool rod, indeed. Let's put all this guff back in there. Then we can put the matic. So we need that shovel head, flint head, and a tool rod. We'll call it the farmer's friend. <laughs> Why not? Farmer's friend. There we go. I guess I can upgrade these somehow through the Tinker's thing, probably. Time to farm! Excellent. I assume that's an achievement for building a hoe, which I guess I did in a sense. Let's get some splosh out of that. I'm going to have to do some more growing in a second, because I have these are my last few leaves. These are well, my last few leaves. Oh, I can put some vines in there, can't I? Well, at least the vines are getting some use. Right. Now we can put that there. Yeah. Right. Now let's hoe this shit. Oh, look at the farmer's friend go. This is so friendly. Oh, God. Friending the shit out of this cobblestone. Right, that's cool. Now, let's plant some stuff. Um, Let's set stuff a growing. And of course, anything that comes out of this, we can also compost as well. Everything's compostable. It's lovely. Um, and what do we got in our case here? Carrot. Okay, let's grow some carrots. That'll be cool. Um, carrot seeds. Melon seeds. All right, what have we got in the way of melon seeds? Melon... Sugarcane, that might be handy to have. Pumpkin! Pumpkin's good. Uh, actually, melon seeds. And... What else? Potato seeds. Cool. Oh, aren't, oh, aren't melons weird? They need to, like, grow alongside something. Hmm. You know what? I'll just grow grass for now. Can't go wrong with the old bit of grass. Right, let's just... I mean, I'll go for the carrots and stuff. Pumpkin, yeah, pumpkins and melons, you have to, you have, to have, like, have a space next to them to grow into. I'll just plant I'll plant a bit of wheat, a bit of pumpkin, and a bit of carrot. I don't know, a bit of, bit of sugar. Let's have a bit of everything. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to have a nice little farming experience here. That's grass. I don't want to go grass particularly. Um, where is... Pumpkin, uh, sugar cane seeds. There we go. Right, how long do I make this? Knowing me, I probably made an uneven number as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't, okay. So we'll plant four wheat seeds, four carrot seeds, four, oh no, of course sugarcane doesn't grow in it, four potato seeds, and another four wheat seeds. Yeah, of course you need sand for sugarcane, um, which is a whole different thing. We can get sand quite easily, but you know what? I think I might slap some of the rest of these seeds. What are these seeds aren't I using? Ugh, I don't want to compost seeds for now if I can avoid it, because um, it's just probably safer not to. Right, what's my actual next job? Craft and cook a crucible. Uh, okay, what do I need for a crucible? Crucible of worlds. Um, unfired crucible. We just need a load of clay. Oh no, we need porcelain clay. How to make porcelain clay? Clay and bone meal. Okay, I have bone meal hanging around somewhere. Definitely seen it. There we go. Somehow ended up in the metals chest. That's not right. And then we just need porcelain and clay. Okay, so I got enough bone meal. One, two, three, four, five. I need more bone meal, which means I need to run some dust through these things. Did I got enough bone meal now. Six. That should be enough. Excellent. Um, I just need to save this clay for using for shit like that. Hey, there we go. Um, right, so now can I put some, like, ooh, iron ore piece. Server backup. That's nice. Um, didn't know I did that. I'm not even playing online, but still handy. Right, uh, need some more compostables, so let's start with some trees. 